At the beginning of spring, a newly hatched Tamaris ballus rests perfectly camouflaged in the vegetation. It flies off towards the flowers to drink nectar. Gradually, the earth warms up and the ants, Tapinoma nigerimum, build up their anthills in such a way that they fully benefit from the sun's rays. Ants play a significant role in the life of this butterfly. At the beginning of the afternoon, this male tops up his energy. Full up, he flies off to a twig, then goes in search of a suitable territory and settles down in position. Around three, a female busies herself on the track. She flies into the male's territory, lands. The resident male spots her and comes directly to meet her and tries to mate. They set off towards the border of the territory and land on a cistus. The female looks carefully for the ideal place in which to lay an egg, feeling the leaves of the host plant with her abdomen. The egg, well hidden between the leaves, is a pale green colour. At a different location in the field, another egg on lucerne is ready to hatch. The little newly hatched caterpillar has a good look at his whereabouts and finds a direct path to a cluster of flower buds, its main food source. In the field, the caterpillars on the lucerne feed on the yellow flowers and as a result take on their colour, thus improving their camouflage. During cloudy spells, at the edge of the field, two caterpillars on Dorycnium hirsutum are surrounded by little ants Tapinoma nigerimum, which are attracted to the caterpillar's mellifluous gland. Note that these caterpillars feeding on Dorycnium hirsutum petals take on the pink colour. The caterpillars also have two retractable tentacles for alerting the ants. In the field, the caterpillar has also been discovered by Tapinoma nigerimum, attracted by the sweet secretion. A small group of ants gathers around the mellifluous gland. In the final stage, the caterpillar leaves to look for a place to undergo its transformation. The ants guide it to their anthill where it will metamorphosize. The caterpillar passes the winter protected in the form of a chrysalis. In January, work started on developing the vineyards located within land protected under Natura 2000. The vegetation was covered under tons of soil. Any species overwintering in this location had no hope of surviving. This unique countryside is transformed forever and will become a single crop requiring regular treatments, the biodiversity destroyed and another habitat is lost. Luckily, until now, this zone higher up has escaped the earthworks. It is here, in an anthill, that a Tamaris ballus chrysalis has survived. At the beginning of April, a male hatches and climbs up the vegetation and inflates his wings. After an hour, the wings are dry and he is ready for his first flight. Despite all the reproductive strategies of this butterfly, what is its hope for survival? Not only extensive urban development, 
but also in more rural areas, human intervention eats into the so-called protected sites. <laughs>